Hello friends, welcome to How Was Off YouTube channel. I am Ketley and I will see you how to downgrade your iPhone and iPad to iOS 13 without data lost. The first step is to back up your device on Mac or PC using Finder iTunes. The second step is to download iOS 14 or iPad OS 14 IPS file for your iPhone and iPad. Now, install using your Mac or PC. And the final step is to restore an old backup to the device. And your iPhone downgraded without data lost. Prevent from data lose. We have to take backup on Mac and PC or in iCloud. So, connect your device to Mac or PC using lightning cable and your device will appear on Finder sidebar. Click on it. Unlock the device first and tap on Trust to access your device on Mac or PC. Now you will see the device summary by a tap on your device name appear in the sidebar. Go to the backup section. Here are the important options for backup your device to your Mac or PC. Select checkbox for backup all of the data on your iPhone slash iPad to this Mac. Right now, click on the backup now option and start backing up process. From here we can also manage old backup. Once you backup you can check under manage backup option. See the list of old backup and delete if you wish. This process will take time depends on how much data saved on your device. Also, this is the fastest way to take a backup of your iOS and iPad OS device. Now you have the latest final version of IPS file for iOS 13. You can download an IPS file for your Apple device according to your model from the given source in the video description. 3 to 4 GB size of IPS firmware file download first to your Mac or PC drive. Once you download, the next step is to install a downloaded IPS file to your Apple device. Here I am installing on my iPad. In the same way, you can do with any iPhone models. Now, browse the downloaded firmware file on Mac from Finder or iTunes device summary by press Option key and click on Check for Update button. You will see the window for the select file saved on your Mac. Here I am selecting my file and click on Open. Now click on the Update button to start the verification process then install it on your device. You have to wait for 10 to 15 minutes until you see the Enter Passcode on your iPad screen. To it. Also, you will see the welcome screen after rebooting several times. Now the next step is to restore latest backup to your iPhone or iPad after turn off the Find My From settings. Here I have set up as a new iPad also you can restore your iPad during the setup time. Open Settings app on iPhone and tap on your name then scroll to Find My option and turn off Find My toggle. Also, keep your iPad connected to your Mac or PC. On Finder or iTunes, use Restore Backup option and start restoring process itself on your device. All data will be copy and without data lost we can downgrade iPhone or iPad in the same way. So, don't miss to share your problem with us and also like, share and subscribe for more updates.